Partition, Sexercise, Pour It Up, California Girls. Over the past few years, music videos have started to have a lot more sexual imagery in them. And some say this is a positive sign of empowerment and liberation. But others say that it's a negative sign and that's actually indicative of a sexualized, negative sex culture. Oh no, it's not possible. Within discourse, there's kind of two broad camps. Some say this imagery is an art form, a way of sexually expressing ourselves. You're really just showing our body language off. Ultimately, a sign of sexual freedom. If you look at Madonna's iconic conical bra, for example, um, a lot of the discourse around it, uh, especially by feminists, was saying that it's a really powerful image of women and it's quite subversive. And the same can kind of be said for Katy Perry's whipped cream bra in her video California Girls. Um, this is another really controversial and erotic image, but also some argue that it's quite a powerful image as well, so it can be seen as positive. And ultimately these are all signs of showing that we live in a more sexually liberal society, uh, a result of the sexual revolution of the 60s, 70s and 80s. And with the sexual revolution there was also quite a lot of positive changes such as um, reproductive technology for women, such as contraceptive pills, and also being more accepting of premarital sex and a wider variety of different sexualities. But others say that's actually a sign of a more sexually commodified world, of objectification and where we have a really negative sex culture. Um, it's something which Ariel Levy, who wrote the famous book uh, Female Chauvinist Pigs, would describe as a pornified society. So we're going to explore that a little bit more. With a pornified society, there's a lot of negative um, health consequences, such as lowered self-esteem and really just self-objectifying and monitoring ourselves, often leading to kind of disordered eating as well. It's a society where sex or sex imagery is sold. As with most debates, there's no one right answer, but there are a few ways that you can kind of differentiate between whether something is sexually objectifying or not. So sexual empowerment is active, it's autonomous, it has a sense of freedom and carelessness. It's also expressive and artistic often. Objectification, on the other hand, is quite passive. There's often a sign of sex or sex imagery being sold. It can be self-sacrificial and also includes a more narrow image or definition of beauty within it. Political scientist Carolyn Heldman recently held an interesting TED talk about this and she created a measurement tool which actually allows us to navigate and define whether something is sexual objectification or not. And here are the following criteria. If the answer is yes to any of the following, she says this means the image or the imagery is sexually objectifying. Does the image show only part or parts of a sexualized person's body? Does the image present a sexualized person as a stand-in for an object? Does the image show a sexualized person as interchangeable? Does the image affirm the idea of violating the bodily integrity of a sexualized person that can't consent? Does the image suggest that sexual availability is a defining characteristic of the person? Does the image show a sexualized person as a commodity? Something that can be bought or sold. And finally, does the image treat a sexualized person's body as a canvas? She says that if the answer is yes to any of those, then the image is sexually objectifying. If we contextualize this with a Kylie Minogue video, for example, we could say that the women in her video are quite replaceable and their body parts are the most important thing with hardly any exposure of their faces. However, Kylie Minogue in this video is irreplaceable and some could argue sexually liberated. There is no one right answer and I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on this and uh, you can put your comments in the section below. I'd especially be interested to hear your opinion on the videos that I mentioned. Um, but thank you for watching. Subscribe, like and all that good stuff. Ciao! Thank you.